If two people are like a pair of flowers and water their conversations, perhaps a cup is where their conversations take place. A place where flowers can wither, stay still, or grow. At first glance, a coffee shop seems special, even magical. A stranger doing work or sleeping. A polished oak table. A clear glass with white flowers. A charming coffee shop owner. A window that divides the inner from the outer world. And a person who you thought you'd never see again, or never meet on any other occasion, sitting in front of you. A person who seems to don a mysterious aura, simply because they're sitting in front of you, in this coffee shop. When the two people settle in, the coffee shop owner comes to take their order. And here, what a person orders hints at the nature of the two people, their relationship so far, the purpose of their meeting, and perhaps where their relationship is headed. A beer and an espresso for a salary man and a star actress, the former who met the actress to prove to his work colleagues that he had once dated her, and the other with the hope of becoming friends with him once more, the emotional distance of a beer and an espresso. Two cups of warm latte for an older woman and a younger woman, both planning a marriage fraud together. Cold coffee and leftover black tea for a male lover with a broken heart and a female lover pouring into her cup a possibility for them to be together once more. Yet for an onlooker and perhaps even for the two people themselves, the only way to know these is through a conversation, which is akin to piecing a puzzle together, the puzzle that is themselves. Yet the conversation is never straightforward. Awkward silences, discomforting questions. <laughs> embarrassed gestures, superficial topics about the weather and appearances, ambiguous or offensive remarks. These are all meaningful as they reveal stark differences in personalities, unmended rifts in their relationship, and hints into the thoughts and intentions of the other person. Perhaps these are like the foam on a latte, which dissipates as the conversation continues, to reveal the bitter sweet or bittersweet coffee underneath. The surrounding environment secretly partakes in their conversation. The sunlight or street light flows in and raindrops cling on the windows to bring out hidden emotions. The drinks and appetizers offer themselves as props to move a conversation forward. <laughs> When the puzzle is pieced together, when the conversation ends, the direction of the two people's relationship is foreshadowed in the direction they part. They may walk together, continuing the conversation, or they may walk the opposite direction, perhaps ending their relationship altogether. And throughout this journey, the coffee shop owner hides behind a guise of indifference, a godlike figure who meticulously sets up the environment, accompanying the two people in the beginning of their encounter, and cleans up the remains of it when they leave, making room for another encounter, another encounter, and another encounter to begin. Yet the magic of the coffee shop is that it makes two people feel as if the environment was specifically made for them. 
for their conversation, for their relationship. A glass filled with water to put two flowers in and two flowers only. A place where they can wither, stay still, or grow together. This was the table.